All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So today, we are gonna be showcasing the newly Extreme Z Awakened free-to-play Int Krillin in Android 18, a unit that definitely has a very special place in my heart for reasons that should be obvious to anybody that knows me at all or has been around the channel for at least, you know, a few months. Now, of course, as always, before we jump into it, I do wanna quickly go over their Extreme Z Awakening details, so, if you guys happen to already know what they do, then feel free to skip ahead about 30 seconds to a minute and we'll start the showcase. Okay, so starting with their leader skill, which is Join Forces Category Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 77%, or Int Types Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 50%. Their Super Attack greatly raises attack and causes supreme damage, and their passive changes Fizz Key Spheres to Int Key Spheres at the start of turn, launches an additional super attack with 5 or more int key spheres obtained, and attack and defense plus 30% with each attack performed up to 180%. And in terms of their links, as you can see, not fully maxed out, but pretty damn close. And they are experienced fighters, courage, cold judgment, brainiacs, solid support, tournament of power, and shattering the limit. And they're in four categories, joint forces, Universe Survival Saga, Representatives of Universe 7, and Battle of Wits. So there you go, that is everything you need to know about the EZA Krillin in Android 18. And for the team, I felt like people might be getting tired of seeing reps of U7 in uh, every single video these days. So for this showcase, we're gonna go with a Battle of Wits slash Majin Buu Saga team. Okay, so... On this first rotation, we actually have them linked up with their best linking partner in the game, which is the Roshi and Tien. They share six links in total, Experienced Fighters, Cold Jud Judgment, Solid Support, Shattering the Limit, Brainiacs, and Tournament of Power. And they're starting with 72,874 defense, which obviously is not great, but they will be stacking very, very quickly. So we got a bunch of Int Spheres here, Int Orbs for them, which will allow them to get a guaranteed double super, possibly a third, we'll see. And here we go. Here we go. So taking that for 7k, all right, to be expected, to be expected. And the first super is just over a million. We get a crit, no crit there, additional 1.5. So we went from about 1 mil to 1.5 mil on the second super, so already a pretty massive increase. And a third super, I love it. I love it, man. Yo, my favorite thing is in showcases when like the unit we're trying to showcase is actually doing what they're supposed to do, you know, getting the, the additionals, the, the crits, uh, the dodges, and all that stuff. That's perfect, man. So triple super on the first turn. And even though the numbers weren't crazy, it was 1 million, 1.5, and then 2. So on that turn, we still generated about, was it 4.5 million attack, right? Yeah, it was about 4.5 million attack. So, uh, yeah, pretty good start, I would say. Pretty, pretty good start. Now, if you didn't have the Roshi and Tian link with them, uh, and I've done, you know, obviously a few tests before this, they start off with something like 35,000 defense with no supports, which obviously is awful. So if you're running like a harder event, Super Battle Road maybe or something like that, you do have to be really careful about the first or second appearance for them. Because uh, as I said, man, 35,000 defense is really, really bad. And if you take a super with that little defense, you're probably dead. So just be mindful of that. Be mindful of that for your own runs. But here we go, second appearance. We got three supers on the first turn and a massive jump for the defense from uh, 50, well, wait, what was it? 72,000 on turn one to 138,000 on turn two. So it basically doubled between the turns. And let's see, uh, let's put Roshi there. Hopefully we can get five int key spheres if we do this. Oh yeah, okay, so at least two more supers coming. Maybe another additional for the third, possibly six supers in two turns. That'd be great. 
I mean, this is their showcase, so if they want to show out a little bit, impress people a little bit, then they would do that. Um, of course, for the hidden potential system, I did go for 15 additional and 6 crit, as opposed to, uh, you know, 15 crit and 6 additional, like some people might. But I just feel like additionals make the most sense for this unit. Look at that, man. Already getting up to 3 million for the additional now. Um, I feel like additionals make the most sense because they're getting such a massive attack boost. Yo. <laughs> I can't even talk because they're doing such crazy things. But um, what I'm trying to say, what I'm trying to get out is like, yeah, they're getting such a massive boost on every single super attack. And it also allows you to build up their passive even faster if they get triple supers like this, right? So I just think additionals are definitely the way to go. But I'm not like 100% married to the idea like maybe at some point in the future i'll change it up that's a good thing about free to play units right you can always change up their hidden potential whenever you want just by farming some dupes um so i might change it over to crits but i feel like additionals are just the best way to go man it just makes the most sense and what i did was actually give them a uh, crit skill orb so i went with all crits or sorry all additionals or as much additional as possible and then i gave them a little bit more crit with a crit skill orb now, uh, it really depends on like how you feel about these units. Uh, maybe you don't think they deserve skill orbs. But as I said, man, this unit is, is pretty special to me. So, yeah, that level 4 crit skill orb, I think, was absolutely worth it. And, and so far, they've been proving me right. Because the, their damage output has been off the charts, man. And now we got the Kid Boo. Supporting, we have 276,920 defense. That's crazy. That's crazy. I can't wait to see this attack, though. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Tell me something good. Okay, so Piccolo supering. Uh, 99 damage. All right, all right, all right, Piccolo. Okay. And if my eyes did not deceive me, I think we just got over 6 million attack, guys. Yeah, <laughs> 6.48. Okay, additional, no, okay, no no third super there. I think I would have lost my mind if we got a third super, but bro, <laughs> six, six million plus attack, back to back. Yo, this... The, all of these free to play units, man. The the Roshi and Tien, the the Fizz UI Goku. Um, what more can I say, man? What more can I say? Okay, let's get Piccolo out of here. Let's move on to the next phase here. Um, this is awesome. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh man, I mean, I'm 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 really happy about this, right? Like. The fact that my girl 18 got a unit this OP, it's not it's not quite a no confest Android 18, which is what I really want. But I mean, this is close enough for me, I guess, for now. Like I, I'll take this for now. Uh, ooh, okay, this is interesting. So this is the first turn where we can't get a uh, guaranteed additional super because we don't have enough orbs. So as you saw for the past couple of turns, it, it was you know pretty easy to do. Or pretty easy to get but this turn uh oh hold on never mind <laughs> we got lucky <laughs> okay so we are getting that additional super but i was gonna say you know every other turn like you might not get the right combination of orbs so maybe uh you can't get the five requisite uh int key spheres and that's okay but most of the time you do get it because they are an orb changer for themselves so you know, you're, you're, it's pretty easy, I would say, to get at least five inch key spheres. And uh, if you bring like another orb changer, then it's pretty much guaranteed. But that's not really even necessary, I feel like. All right, so we lost the Kid Boo support, but we're still getting over five billion attack, even without Kid Boo. And maybe get a third super here. Oh, never mind, she's dead. Well, what can you do? What can you do? Man, I can't wait for Kid Boo to come back though. Because we're probably going to be getting over 7 million when that happens, right? It's got to be somewhere in that range. Uh, let me see. Okay, so we're going to save. 
We're gonna save all the fizz and int for the uh, Krillin and 18. I'll just give these to the Vegitos. And we should be guaranteed. Oh, hold on. I just realized Kid Boo is in danger. Okay, okay, thank God. Okay, we're good. <laughs> we're good. Um, if Kid Boo had been the one to get supered, we might have been dead. And I would have been so sad because, like, the showcase is going so well. You know, like, the Krillin and 18 are doing such crazy things that I want, it, I want to keep it going. For sure. Oh my god, yeah, yeah, no, that was close. That was way too close for comfort. Uh, I'm going to heal up a little bit. Let's just pop a Princess Snake. Obviously, I don't think that Krillin and 18 need it. I don't think that Roshi and Tien need it. But um, for the sake of just... For me to just feel a little bit better about about this showcase, let's just let's just do it. All right. Uh, of course, taking double digits, no surprise there. And 5.5 mil attack now for that first super. Second super, 5.78. All right. Give me a third, come on. Give me that additional. And third super over six. I don't know, man. <laughs> what what else is there to say? What else is there to say? Not much. Can't really say much about that. Alright. Gohan's dead. Got SSBE, and I think after this we got two more. Um, it should be it should be 17, and then uh, Goku and Frieza. All right. So I know this guy hits pretty hard too. We have damage reduction, but I'm I'm still not like feeling it too much. Uh, let's hmm, let's let's get some extra defense. Let's go Android 8 here. Yeah, Aider, and then. Let's see if we can potentially... Oh, we got some Inti Spheres there. Okay, that's good. So let's give these to him. And we should have enough Fizz slash Int for uh, Krillin and 18 after this. We got a token attack, so let me make sure we... Oh, this might hurt a little bit. Ooh, okay, yeah, good call, man. That Aider was a great call. All right, so let's get this token attack going. One, two, three, four, five, six... Oh man, this Vegeta hit so hard. You know, even though like Infinite Dragon Ball history is not as hard as like the LGE, especially the new GT1 or Super Battle Road, or at least Extreme Super Battle Road, um, it can still be tough, man. Like I, I wouldn't sleep on some of these enemies. They definitely make me nervous still. Like, if, I, if I didn't pop the the Aider, I probably would have died this turn. Yeah, good tanking there. Perfect. Beautiful. Yeah. After we get past this stage, though, it shouldn't be too bad. Additional super. Okay. All right. I just, I just want to see the next rotation, man. I just want to see the next turn. Come on. I don't care about any of this stuff. Okay, okay, okay. Healing back up. Beautiful. And that's going to be a bunch of orbs. For Krillin and 18. And uh, Kid Boo at the end. Uh, I don't know about that. Oh my god, look at that defense. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, we have Aider. Okay, I got I got a little bit excited for no reason. But still, <laughs> but still, look at that defense. 400,000 each. So yeah, we're clearly not. Eight point. Wait, what? Did did Vegeta always dodge attacks? Was that always a thing, or I didn't? When did Vegeta dodge? 
And why did he have to dodge back to back like that? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Okay, like w when I saw the first one, I was like, okay, maybe he has like a chance to dodge. Or, but 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 to dodge back to back supers like that, we definitely should have killed Vegeta there, right? Like that that that's for sure. Vegeta definitely should have been dead there. What just happened? I, I don't know. I mean, I I don't know how, how to react exactly because like the, the attack stats are crazy, eight point five or something like that. But then uh, we got dodge both times. <laughs> that was weird. That was really weird. Um, all right. Well, I guess we'll just keep 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 it moving along. Um, Let's put the... Ooh, oh, our defense got lowered a ton, huh? Yeah, our defense got lowered a ton. Okay, I guess we'll... Hmm, I guess we will... Princess Snake here again. Give these to the, the couple. Let's just give one tech to him. And then a super for Vegito. Yeah, okay, 6.78, no dodge here, perfect. Although, if we don't get a crit, we're probably not gonna do much damage. Man, Vegeta's such a douche, though. How could he dodge double supers like that? <laughs> How could he dodge both supers like that? Like, that's not cool. Can't do this, they can't, can't, can't do that to us, Vegito. Like, let's say Vegito. Vegeta, Vegeta, you can't do that to us, man. I'm trying to do a showcase here. That's just all uncalled for. Uh, he absorbs key base attack, that makes sense. But does Vegito like... I mean... Wait, why do I keep saying Vegito? Does Vegeta dodge certain types of attacks? Like, or was that just unlucky? I'm still confused right now. I mean, I I, I don't know. I, I don't know exactly what happened. Uh, Alright, so... How uh, should we play this one? I guess Vegito at the end makes sense. Um, Kid Boo. I mean, I don't, I don't want to leave Kid Boo back there. Maybe Vegito can just kill him. It's a possibility. It's, it's a possibility. But if 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 we doesn't, then we're just dead. Okay, let's let's put let's use Android Eight. Okay, and then let's do that. Probably probably not necessary. Yeah, it's probably not a setup. That's this should kill him. This should definitely kill him, or come close. So I wasted an item essentially. Oh, oh snap! I forgot they do the comment how many hot. Oh no! Oh, we're so dead. <laughs> we're so dead. I messed up. We're so dead, guys. Or maybe not exactly. Okay, we're still alive, just barely, just barely, but still alive. This is such a weird run. All right, um, let's see. Okay, I'll give these to them. Let's give ooh, these to them. That's gonna be a nice heal right there. And either way, we should be able to finish things off here. But um. I might not be able to finish finish this run actually. Like like this this stage I might not be able to finish because I kinda made some mistakes. So yeah, it's my bad. Um sorry to disappoint you guys. I'm sure you guys are very disappointed in me. But don't 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 pay attention to what I'm doing wrong here. Just pay attention to what Krillin and 18 are doing right. Alright, that's the most important thing. Pay attention to what they're doing right, which is a lot. They're doing a lot of stuff right, man. The damage, especially. My phone's dying. Can't handle all this fire. Can't handle all this heat. Um, but yeah, man. Like they're they're doing some crazy stuff for a free-to-play unit. Oh man, nothing's going right. Okay, let me let me replug this. Hold on. I got this. Come back. Come back. Thank you. Uh, all right. So let's do this. 
Um, we should be okay, right? We should we should be okay. We should be okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save the Fizz Key Spheres for Krillin and 18, and then yeah, we're good. We're good. Get some nice counters here. I never see this animation, man. Or I never see like the the transformation, the the fusion for Vegito. So this is actually really refreshing. And actually, you know what? Um, as long as we don't get dodged next turn, we should actually smash the Go Frieza, just absolutely annihilate them with Krillin and eighteen. Okay, I actually don't want Vegito to do too much here. He's doing too much. He, he needs to stop. He needs to stop. No, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop. No. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Bro, is he gonna... Uh, are we gonna kill Goku and Frieza before... No, don't do this. No, we don't want this. Don't want this. Stop it. Oh my god, you're kidding me. Come on, okay, no additional supers for you. No additional super, don't do not do it. No additional supers. At, le at least let me get one more super attack off with Krillin and 18. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Final super, final attack stat. Let's see what it is. If it's over 10 million, I'ma lose it, man. I'ma lose it. It was actually over 10 mil. Oh my god. And it was it was gonna be a guaranteed double super, so it would have been another probably 10.5 mil super and maybe a third. They could have gotten over like 30 million attack. <laughs> oh man. Oh man, what a unit. What a unit. Um Well there you have it guys. There you have it. Uh, what 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 else can I say? What else can I say? These guys are putting up numbers like at Lars. Obviously, it takes some time, right? Like it's only in the longer events where they're gonna be doing this. They're not doing this for Super Bad Road or you know like a Dogon event or like that. But they can still probably get pretty high uh, on those events. Um, and their defense is actually quite respectable. It's it's not like mind blowing defense, but over two hundred thousand defense is very very good, especially because. It only takes them, what, six attacks to get that, and if you get them additionals, then in two or three turns, you know, they'll, they'll be getting their max passive, so, uh, yeah, man, really fun unit, <laughs> really, really freaking fun unit, I, I can't believe some of the numbers we just saw, but that's, that's them, man, that's this unit, and, uh, of course, I always ask this question in every video. Let me know your opinions in the comments about this unit. Are you impressed, disappointed, or somewhere in between? And uh, as always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.